Hello everybody, welcome to Badlands Ballistics. I'm Chris, we're doing some more uh, nine millimeter load development testing today. Uh, there's been a little bit of a process. I've posted a few videos on it so far. Haven't had great success, but hopefully today is the day. Got the Taurus TH9, CZ75, two of my favorite guns uh, that we're gonna be using today. I'm gonna do a quick uh, chronograph on these. I've bumped the powder charge up. If you guys have been following this, I've been doing, uh, I started out with tight group powder, didn't get the results I wanted. Kind of had some pressure spikes, I feel like, so I switched to unique powder. Um, my goal is 1150 to 1200 feet, somewhere in that neighborhood, wherever it's accurate. That's the whole goal of things. So uh, we'll do we'll do the chronograph first, and then we'll get some targets up and see how it goes. Before we get started doing that, uh, take a minute and ask you guys to please subscribe. Um, had some good growth on the channel. It's been real steady throughout the winter. It's the middle of January right now. Pretty fortunate we have had great weather. I know some of the other places in the nation are experiencing some extreme cold. So very fortunate to be living in the deserts of Utah right now. So anyway, um, if you're interested in agriculture content, check out my other channel, 10 Cow Ranch. Uh, uh, that brand new channel is only five, six weeks since we've got it growing and, and it's doing some good growth also. So anyway, let's get started. We'll do the chronograph test first with both. Or I'm going to use the CZ75 with just uh, on the chronograph right now. So here we go. Okay guys, this is what we had. 11.30, 11.55, 11.28, 11.37 average. Still just slightly on the light side. So we'll have to see how the accuracy is on it. Okay, so that was interesting. A little bit light on the, on the uh, velocity. I was hoping for, you know, that 11.80 range or somewhere in there, but we're, we averaged 11.30, my block of wood there, 11.37. That's okay, I, I think I'm okay with that. It all depends on the accuracy. Um, I, w I got room to move. I'm kind of still in that mid-range load on the uh, unique scale as far as powder charge goes. So I could move it up a little bit. I'm just going to test it and see if these uh, if these two guns shoot really good, like fantastic. I'm going to call it a, a day for now. Then we'll do the next thing with ballistic gel testing. So anyway, I'm only going to do the two guns today. You know, you guys can see I'm about out of daylight with these short days. It's hard to get home from work and get anything like this done. So we're going to do a, we're going to do a quick accuracy test with these two guns and see where we're at. I'm really excited. Hopefully this will be, hopefully this will be the sweet spot. We'll give it a shot. All right, let's go up and have a look. Okay, I think we're making a little bit of improvement. I love the point of impact on the CZ. Here's one, two, three. Not a fantastic group. Under three inches. Call it, you know, two and three quarter. That, that might have been a little bit of loosen up behind the trigger business. So I left this target up from the other load. About the same accuracy. That one's two and a half. Uh, the Taurus TH9, that was over three, three and a half. Look how good the Taurus likes that load. Two right there touching each other, one there. That's under two inches. Uh, I'm gonna say I'm very satisfied with that. We're gonna mark those. I think I got enough daylight to do one more set of, set of groups. Okay, we're gonna go try that one more time. Um, interesting, the, the TH9 point of impact is, I like a six o'clock hold, and in a perfect world, the group would be you know, right in here somewhere. This is a little bit high. I'm kind of okay with it. CZ, of course, is, is perfect point of impact. All right, guys, 
before we go up and have a look, I'm going to share the beautiful sunset. Clear skies, the sun's just going down. You know, for January, it's a pretty dang nice day. I'm pretty fortunate to live in, in the desert here where I can do this in January. So let's go up and have a look at the target. Well, I've said it before. Sometimes you have good days and sometimes you have bad days at the range. Look at this group. So this is the this is the CZ target. So here's one, two, three. I don't know guys, I'm gonna call that a solid inch. That's a three shot, one inch group at 25 yards of the CZ. So we're gonna call this guy a little bit of a flyer. So we had five out of six in two and a quarter inches. I don't know, leave some comments. Five out of six at two and a quarter inches at 25 yards with the CZ. I don't know if I can complain about that. What do you guys think? I'm gonna call that pretty fantastic, really. The TH9, so this was the first one, two, three. Here's the next ones, one, two, three. So that one was actually a little bit bigger group. Two and a half is what we're gonna call that. But I got four out of six under an inch and a half. I don't know, man, I, I think we're onto something. Leave some comments, tell me what you guys think. The Taurus TH9 does not have as good a trigger as the CZ. I don't know if I'm ever gonna, without tons of practice, maybe a little bit of working on it, get these kind of results. But here's the first three shots with the other load. I think we've gained some, I think we've gained some. Tell me what you guys think. All right, well, I'll tell you what. My goal with these handguns is one inch groups, three shots at 25 yards off the rest. And I got it today. This is my happy face. I am plum tickled. I've been, you know, if you guys have been watching this, this has been, uh, this has been a little bit of a struggle. I wanted to use tight group because I have so much of it. I just couldn't pull the tight group off. It just wasn't there. I mean, you guys seen the groups on the CZ? Of course, the CZ to me is a premium extremely. I don't think it's fair to our other friends on the 9mm world to compare everything to a CZ 75 because I think it's it's pretty much top of the heap. But you know, I got five out of six under two and a quarter on the CZ. Even on the the TH9, we're shooting you know two shots right there, very consistent, um, pretty dang good groups. I think that we might have a winner here, um, just for fun. So so I'll tell you what my next step is for the next coming videos. I got the Taurus G2 and the Sig 320. The Sig 320 is a premium handgun. Don't don't get me wrong. I'm not bashing on it. I'm just super happy with this, but. Because that SIG 320 I've shot some good groups with and the Taurus. So I want to do another video with those two guns, same accuracy test. And then we're going to do the ballistic shell test. And if all of those pass like we've had tonight, then I'm going to sit down and just knock out a, you know, a bulk amount of these. So let's talk about the powder charge. And I don't usually do this, but I'm getting it today. I'm at 5.1 grains of unique. I have seen some books that say as much as 7 grains of unique. I don't think that would fit in the case. This charge, especially with this bullet, you know, we talked about overall length. This guy's super short on that. Um, is it a compressed powder charge? I'm not really sure if it's compressed, but I think the powder is touching the base of the bullet. So that's one part of it. So I think we're, we're good there. There's no, no way you could do a double charge on this. I'm using a Dillon 650 machine. Of course, they don't make 650s anymore. They're, they've morphed into the 750. It's auto indexing. And when that thing turns, it kind of is a little bit abrupt. And what happens is, even now where I'm at, um, once in a while I'll get a little bit of just a grain or two, a flake or two of powder that will jump out of the case. Um, it's annoying more than anything, makes a mess. I think it's, it's not as accurate as if that wasn't happening, like with the tight group, you know, it's down in the case a little bit more. So could I put another tenth of a grain or two tenths of a grain? I absolutely could. That's going to increase the problem of this powder jumping out of the case on this 650. So I honestly think I'm going to leave it right where it's at. And if the other two guns shoot it well and the ballistics gel turns out well, we're going to call it a winner. So what I'm going to do right now, we're going to wrap up the video. Thanks everybody for watching. Please subscribe. I'm just going to end. I'm going to dump a round or excuse me, a mag out of each gun downrange of the steel just to just to double check for reliability you guys know me every 
reliability trumps everything. Accuracy is second. So if it's not reliable, it's not worth having. Accuracy, if it's not accuracy, we're going to keep working. I think we got them both there. I don't know. I'm pretty excited about it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. We're going to dump some rounds at the steel to wrap things up. Have a good night.